to another edition of The Sewing Guru and the second part of creating your front pockets. So in this video I'm going to show you just that. We're going to finish off the front pockets. Okay, so the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to be putting our rivets in the small inside pocket part, okay? Uh, these rivets here we're going to wait until we've attached most of our jeans together Otherwise they're going to be too close to the seam and we won't be able to get in Okay, and also it's going to be too close to the waistband and again we won't be able to get in properly uh, When if these are attached we won't be able to get in and attach our waistband properly because the foot will just hit the rivet So that's why this one and this one we leave until later on but we're just going to be working with these two rivets here okay now I've already produced on one side my two rivets okay and as you can see they're on the edges if I turn this over you can see the backs and they're pretty secure you know they are pretty secure they're not going to come out and I'm going to show you how I did that so I've got my other pocket here with no rivets on. Now here is a piece of wood and I've put cloth over the top, okay? So it's just a standard piece of wood because we need to hammer these in place, okay? Now I do have prongs, but um, some of you might not have the prongs, so this is going to be the best way to teach everybody, okay? Now the prongs, it's just basically just pronging the two pieces together instead of having one of these okay so this is just basically getting used with a hammer but it's exactly the same concept so what you need is a hammer of course you need your little rivet set so you need a bottom rivet and a top rivet okay now you can get these in packs um, from haberdashery stores um, and they're, they're quite easy to get hold of so we need our rivets as well Okay, so that's those. Now, now this here as well, which attaches to the, which attaches the rivets together, you should also get within the pack. So it all comes as one. All right. So it's just this plastic thing which attaches the rivets together when you hammer them in place. And also, what you need is you need either an awl or some sort of set to be able to pierce your cloth. Now this here is the Benina eyelet set, uh, eyelet embroidery set uh, and I just use this because we have here the kind of awls that we can use to pierce our cloth and produce a hole because in there that's actually quite thick. We've got quite a lot of layers there you see so it's actually quite thick fabric. Okay, so that's what we need and also I'm just going to use a small block of wood that comes with this eyelet set as well to just create the piercing. So we'll just, I'll just put this back, okay, and just put this out of the way for now. Now what you need to do is you need to make sure, because of course this here is just loose, just press this. Yeah, and what we need to do, what you need to do is just put some pins in here just to secure this down before we start because we don't want any fabric moving and we just want it to just be secure. So just put some pins across the top so that all of this lies flat. The worst thing is, is when you put your rivet in and then your cloth is like this. You don't want that. It needs to be nice and flat and not distorted at all. So make sure that you've got pins right round so that that is not going to happen. So when you've got your pins in and it's all lying flat as you can see, then we can start putting our rivet in place. So I'm going to start off with one of the corners. Now our rivet is going to go exactly onto one of the corners like that and the other corner as well. So we'll just start off with this corner here. Now. So with, with, with your uh, awl, you need to just pierce through this whole thing. You know, really put some pressure on. Just make sure, yeah, it's come through. And then just keep pushing through 
as you can see I've got it coming through now it's a little a little pressure needs to be done here okay so just keep turning and turning and turning until you've got this hole okay and gently bring it all out making sure that all of the hole is together like so and then the bottom rivet we can just put in now it should just be able to just place in there now make sure that the rivet is all aligned and it's come through which is perfect now we can discard this little block and make sure that we have the correct the correct side for your rivet okay so make sure that the rivet is in place like so yeah and it's not moved because if you if you bend the rivet yeah it's it's going to be obsolete you don't want that okay so just make sure that your rivet is completely in place put the top on okay and make sure that it's all aligned now this is the tricky part okay you need to be able to just hammer this in place okay now I have a little toffee hammer okay and really put some pressure on here okay as you can see okay now when you've done that a few times just lift off the rivet like so and it's in place see that that ain't gonna come out it's perfect it's not distorted or anything now if you feel that you need to just hammer it a bit more go ahead and hammer that just a little bit more now of course it's not distorted as you can see because we've got our pins here and we're gonna go ahead and do the other one as well so again put you all in place yeah I'm gonna make sure I've got my two little parts here as well the bottom and the top rivet yeah and again nope. just make sure that it's right in the center of this square and again press this apply just that bit of pressure right through as you can see it's, it's right through and then just gently bring this back out because you've got your hole and put the bottom cap rivet through there like so excellent we can discard our wood out the way there and just make sure that this rivet part is right through the cloth which is great make sure that the rivet is going to sit exactly in alignment with your small tool okay put the rivet on the top press this together okay and again hammer this in place brilliant excellent that's that completely in place and there's our two rivets isn't that great so they're completely now aligned you can take out the pins as well for the bag and as you can see it's not distorted at all in any way that's both both of our bags and we're now ready to attach these bags onto the actual jeans bag itself okay so now that you've put your rivet in okay we're now ready to attach both of our bags together so you need your front panel okay just press it down just give it a press so everything's lying flat okay and this of course is just going to attach into there onto the bag as you can see creating this finished pocket okay so the way to do that is 
take out the pin that we had which was securing this. Make sure you've got the correct bag for the correct side. Okay, and what you need to do is attach this bag as if it's inside out. Okay, so basically you've got your bag like this. Turn the bag like so over and attach these two bags together. So put some pins in here just to secure this in place. And we need to be attaching right along to the end. So again put some pins in place here. All the way to the edge. Put another pin there. Okay, make sure that it's all nice and straight. Okay, and you need to do that with both your bags. And what we're doing is we're stitching quite close to the edge. You know, don't stitch a centimetre in. I would stitch half a centimetre from the edge, and you'll see what why uh, in the next part why we do this. But stitch from here round the bag all the way around to this point here and we're going to be doing that for both bags so here we are at the sewing machine as you can see and the first thing what you need to do is you need to change your threads to the white colour or off-white or the colour of your pocket bags and reattach the normal foot for sewing okay because we had the walking foot on before and now we're going to be putting just a standard foot on okay so you need to just thread up your machine and starting with the pocket foot down and remember we're only going in quite near the edge so I would stitch it a half a centimeter from the edge all right go forward back tack Just take the pin out there. And go right along the edge of our pocket bag. Now take your time as we go. And, and keep checking as well to see that you've caught you've caught the bag in place. All right, keep checking that. Until we reach the other side. Cut our threads. Okay, and do that with the other bag as well okay so again make sure that it's all lined now be careful as well that you don't get the the bag sort of caught in there uh, if this happens then just just keep going okay I mean it's there we go that's it that's fine. And again, make sure that the, the pocket bags are together because they can easily slide out of the way, all right? And because they, they need to be aligned in place. So keep keep checking that the bags are together. Okay. And just stitch right along until you reach this side, back tack, forward and cut your threads. And now that you've done that, just check to see if you've done it right along that the, the, it's caught, you know, both bags are caught in because again you know this cotton can quite easily slide out of the way uh, and then you'll only get one layer and then you'll get a hole so make sure that you've done it all correctly and when you're happy we're now ready to take it back over to the ironing board to give it a press 
and do the other section. Okay, so now that we've stitched right along the edge, right round the bag, okay, make sure that it's all aligned and it's all in alignment around the whole bag, okay? If you've got any fabric which is sort of sticking out, just trim it off, okay? And the next part is we're just going to bag this out the correct way. Okay, so just, just bag this out and you can just move this with your hand. Okay, now with a pair of scissors, just make sure that it's all nicely rounded, okay? And just keep manipulating this bag, press it down. Okay, and just keep manipulating this. Okay, as you can see, this is exactly how the industry do it. So just keep manipulating this bag in place. And of course then it makes it a really neat bag, There's no overlocking showing, nothing. Uh, I mean you can overlock it if you want to, but this is this is the best way. Just make sure that that's all nice and flat, all pressed nice and flat, okay? And just put some pins in the bag to just secure that in place, like so, and here, and here, okay? Now I'm going to do that with the other one as well. Let's just check to see if all of our parts are nicely on the edge. Just check around. Okay, now there is a, a few bits here which I'm not very happy about. So I'm just going to trim this off just to really nicely round it off. Like so. Just trim. If there's any bits of thread and cotton, just trim that off as well. Top. Okay, and again, just bag this out. Just bag this out the right way. Just, I'll just turn this round. There we go. That's better. Yeah, lovely. Just keep bagging this whole bag out and just manipulating it. Again, we can get our scissors in there and just make sure that the whole thing is just pressed out round the edge. There we are. Perfect. Okay. And now we can just press this down. Make sure everything's flat. It's all lying where it wants to lie. Okay, so just keep just manipulating this with your fingers. Like so. Right round. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have here, which there's like a little bit of a funny, a funny kink. So what we can do is just go back and just cut that at the kink because there's obviously a little bit too much fabric. So again, if that happens, you need to press this back like so and just cut this a bit further and a bit closer to your stitching all right it it's it only it doesn't take much but you know it's just it's just neatness that's all it is it's it's only neatness to create a really nice professional looking pocket okay because of course i mean people are not going to see this because it's inside of course but there we go that's better So 
So again, just press this in place. Just keep manipulating that. Keep manipulating it right along. There we go. Okay, right. Now, put your pins in as well. Put your pins in right along just to secure this down in place. Like so. And what we're doing now with both our bags, okay, is we're going to re-stitch around the edge, okay? So make sure that you're beyond the point. I mean, you'll be able to see where the raw edge th is through your cloth. You can make that out. So go beyond that. So I would stitch it a centimetre in, stitch right along the edge all the way around to this point here, okay? And do that for both of your bags. So, as you can see, I've top stitched right along the edge of the bag, right along here, okay? And we've, I've not done it along this side of the top, okay? It's just along this rounded part here, and I've done it a centimetre in. So, give it a press. Press this down really nice. Makes it really nice and neat. Okay? And do that with the other one as well so just make sure everything's lying flat it's all lying where it wants to lie there's no distortion and give it a press okay and when you've done that you can just turn over your jeans and just put some pins down the side just to keep this in place okay so it's not it's not flapping around okay you can put a pin at the top here as well Ooh. there we go and do that for the other one so make sure that it's all nice and neat. Press. Put some pins down the side. I mean, all these pins, all they're doing is just basically holding the cloth in place so that your pocket is not flapping around. Okay, and it's just easier. All right, so if I just put these in place like so, like that as you can see there is our pocket bags with our riveting finished and it's looking exactly as it is how they do them in the industry 